You know, I do so many of these videos, I kind of start to ignore my mental health. And today is one of those days where I really don't feel like I should ignore it because it is something that I'm struggling with. And I just want to say, if any of you deal with that sort of thing, find somebody to talk to. It'll help. It'll be a big help. And also know that you're not alone. I don't like stuffing it down and trying to hide it. I don't think that's the best way to go about this. So now just saying something, I hope that I could get through this video and not have that hanging in the back of my head. Let's try to do this video, shall we? What's happening, everybody? All the NASCAR drivers team up and say something to Michael about him driving in oncoming traffic. Yeah! Michael, I would like to start by saying we are all your friends here. What the hell is this? Some of the drivers have been hurt by what you're doing. Kyle, why don't you start? You use me to drive into oncoming traffic and it hurts like fucking hell. What's a half a dozen times? Michael, you crash into me an awful lot when I just want to be your friend. I'm not friends with cave dwellers. Millions die from oncoming traffic accidents every year. I should have hit you harder. Stop doing it. Stop being irrelevant. I was forced to retire because of you. No, you fucking weren't. What's happening, everybody? I got through so much practice in our 2000. Free! Oh my god, do we got some tracks to get through today, my friends! Fix up my damn hair! Watkins Glen Car Pack! Oh, and I'm gonna be racing cheating Toyota Jimmy! Chicago Street Course! Coca-Cola Hump! Hardwood Motor Drum! Wall Oval! And Pocono Night! Those are the tracks that I have an interest in getting through today and watching how the AI reacts to racing around these tracks. I know I'll handle them perfectly fine because I am a master driver. When I'm on the high seas, they call me a master baiter, but we won't talk about that right now. Five tracks, and I think I've already forgotten half of them. Before I forget anymore, what do you say we get the video started with cheating Yoder? To my great, I can hardly wait. Let's get the video started, let's go! 800 likes on the video, and I'll make a donation to the Driving Into Oncoming Traffic Victims Relief Fund. A donation of negative $1 million that then they'll have to pay me! Ha ha ha! I'm so fucking stupid. They started me on a hill! I'm losing ground already! Mm. I've been rather excited to run this race, run it this track in. in the NR2003 for the very first time. The Chicago Street Course makes its way onto the Moves Channel in a thing that is not iRacing! We're green racing, but the fart, the fart finish line. Green, yeah, green, the fourth green. finish line is way a ways down there, so it's gonna take a little bit. For us to finally get there, we're on our way from the Chicago Street Course. Don't hit anything, don't hit anything, don't hit anything. Jemai, I know you can hardly see anymore, but don't hit anything. There are a lot of trees down here in the... In the... Sorry, man! I like it. It kind of feels like we're in the Amazon jungle with the amount of trees that I'm seeing. I don't know if that's 100% accurate. This place is damn narrow, let me tell you. A lot of shifting going on. I had no idea what to set the difficulty to, so I went with an 80 out of a potential 110. 70 to 110. You gotta come up with some sort of skill range in there. Oh, heaven's sakes. I didn't think we were gonna be able to slow down for that corner, but we were. Noah's Ark, I look out for that one. This corner is a little bit tight in iRacing. Oh my god, that, that almost tricked me. I almost drove into them cones. Clear. Good luck to ye! Am I gonna put this thing damn up in the lead on lap one? Almost in one single lap, Juba came from dead last! All the way up on oh, oh we got that wheel hop! Say a bear! Say a bear! What do I do? Exactly that. Well, now we're going to have to take the lead back again. I'm going to have to wreck another Hendrick Motorsports brethren. Bish Boy thinks he's getting away. Where was all this speed when the actual Chicago race was going on? You could have won this one. You could be in the playoffs. I might have overcooked it this time. No! I did it. You all right? All right. Oh, holy crap, you blew the friggin' engine. How did I blow the engine when all I did was pop the tire barrier a little bit? Noah's Ark hit that 
and shit about six times in the actual race. He didn't blow an engine. He continued on after they pulled his ass out of it. How in the world could I have blown it when all I did was scrub a little bit of tire barrier? Well, you know, up until this point with the nine just going by me, I had the lead. I want to remind you that I had the lead this whole time on pit road. Only Chubai could pull that off. <laughs> supposed to traverse that? Do I look like Christopher Colombo? Every car you see before you right now in about 30 seconds will be destroyed. This is another banger from our friend Racing Runner 34. Go check out their NR2003 site where well, that ain't fucking now. nice. Lollipop comes back for a one-off at this hump track. I don't think we've ever been able to see it before we got there before. That's, that's, that's what the fuck you get. I honestly wasn't even trying for that. But it was such a slow come up to the green flag, I didn't have a choice. I'll put link to Racing Runner 34's website in the description where they have all of their tracks, like this one, that are available for download. Oh my, I think this is the most pronounced hump we have seen. This has got to be the biggest. Where am I? I don't know. This is gonna hurt a lot. This, what? I see rainbows. Jamma died by himself. Didn't even have the the warm comfort, the warm embrace of some friends, some you all right? camaraderie as he took his final breath. Where shall I set up the camera? Oh, maybe here. Racing runner, I tell you this, you are one crazy bastard. Juma didn't get the memo that you were supposed to control your throttle and not just mad it up the fucking hell! What the fuck? All right, Trevi, let's do it again. Try it again this time, but this time, let's do it not so stupid. Can we, can we do that? Can we land with everybody? No, where are you going? I landed the tow-away zone. Everybody else is free to continue. I see trees of green. See a blue for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world, what a wonderful world, yeah. Let's go to a track where we can, I don't know, actually compete for a victory. Pocono Night, also made by Racing Runner 34. Go and check out his website. Go and check out his channel. I don't know, this Pocono is looking a little bit narrow, if you ask me. Quite, quite now. narrow. Go Not much room for error. Again, don't really know what setting to have the setting set at. How difficult to make this. Am I going to be able to drive up to the front? Or am I going to suck toes the entire race? So far, so good. Pretty solid. Shifting up through the gears. Am I good? You remember how to do that. We're passing some more people. Headed off into the tunnel turn. It's getting a little bit tight. It's refreshing to race around Pocono and not have a... What did I just say? Pocono. That's the name of it, right? It's nice not having a giant mountain to climb up in the middle of turn two, the tunnel turn. Mount Pocono, you know the track. We've been there a good you number right? of times in this channel's history. Too many Christmas, Ramrod. You beat the snot out of the back end. And I'm gonna beat the snot out of you now! It'd be nice to, uh, you know, actually uh, be able to complete one of these races at one of these tracks. I feel it's possible here. This is one of Racing Runner's tamer tracks. One where I actually feel that I'm not gonna fly through the air at any point. I just gotta remember, you know, uh, these turns, you gotta slow down for them. You can't just pile your ass into them. Well, Briscoe's ass. Oh my God, I did it again. Why is this so tough for me just to slow down the goddamn car? Well, we're up, we're still up to P30 out of 37 potential cars. 
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We're gonna come back and we're gonna get a few more spots before the end of this. I'm happy now I have a little bit of a breathing room, some gap, where I can set it off into these corners and I don't gotta worry about hitting anything but the wall. Big concern that I did some damage to the car because it seems I can't shift up the fourth. Look at us go! We're doing this, we're coming back. We don't need fourth gear. We don't need a fifth gear either. We are on our way to the front. I don't know why this idea just popped into my head, and I don't know if Racing Runner is listening to this right now, watching me speak, but what about a mini Pocono? Like a, a Pocono that got left in the oven a little bit too long. You know what I'm saying? Like single groove, tiny, maybe like same shape, but maybe only like a mile long. Or less than that. Who knows? Oh, I slowed down this time. I was actually able to contain myself, control myself for a moment. What am I, some sort of heathen? Control yourself, man! Sometimes, us as humans had to find a way to pull in our animalistic urges. Turns out I was so damn gung-ho to pass people because I got the best car in the field! Just realized, have on adaptive speed control. So that's making the AI adjust their speeds to make me feel more adequate about my own speed. What that really means is I could get up to the front and they could spontaneously start getting a lot faster and a lot more difficult to pass. I really do not know why it doesn't go off the fourth gear anymore. That shouldn't... Me hitting the wall like that should not have damaged it to where now the 19's coming back. Where I can't shift up. I can, but there's just no speed. That's exactly what happened was adaptive speed control. They were letting me back by people because I had lost some ground. And now that I'm up here, now they're not going to allow me to pass anybody anymore. Getting my hamster is really all I want to do. If I can get ahead of that weasel, then I'll feel good about myself and I won't have to feed him to my pet snake. I've got a corn snake named Fez in a tank in my bedroom that I intend to feed hamster to if he does not let me buy. Hell to the no. I am the superior dark blue car. It's like we're getting closer, but not close enough where I'm actually able to do anything. Have found speed here, but is it too little, too late? Send it way too deep into that corner. I'm not gonna get him, am I? I'm gonna have to sail it off into one of these corners, aren't I? If I intend to get hamster, you know what though? It's a win-win for me. Either I clean him out and I take six, or I don't have to feed Fez today. He's pretty goddamn far gone, isn't he? And now he's rounding the outside, he's trying to hide. Typical of a hamster that's possibly gonna get eaten by a reptilian. You all right? I should have done that sooner. If I would have done that sooner, I told you I'm the superior dark blue car. Get him. I got Gibby. He's gonna be fed to Fez. Anybody else wanna be fed to Fez? Anybody else want it? He's got big fucking teeth. They're like the size of fork prongs. Hamster and Gibby are both gonna be stuffed into that tank. I wonder which one Fez is gonna wanna eat first. I had to guess he's gonna use Gibby as an appetizer. And then Hamster is the main course. He's gonna bite him in half. Mall Oval, I picked this one up on a whim. It doesn't even like have coordinates where it's located. It's just apparently that way. Or is it? I don't know which way I'm pointing. The shits is an eighth of a mile long. There's gonna be no room for error. Oh my god. Oh, and look, okay, look. They're going to get themselves a new pocketbook and they might visit Old Navy before the day's end. Well, this is different. We're racing around a fountain. We're green from the Mall Oval. Cheap shit. There's a store called Cheap. Wait, not Cheap shit. Cheap, I think it's cheap chick. Hey, there's some dogs. There was a lady walking her dog. You pit, you pit in the parking garage. Can I just, I wanna know. I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry, I had to find out. I went and murdered some canines and hardly lost any time at all. What place am I even in? And we gotta do 25 laps of this and it takes as long to get around here as it would the Bristol because it's flat. I'm especially fast on this high lane and cheap shit motor speedway. We're up to P4. I believe the, these three in front of me, the four's the leader, 
The other two are not the leaders. This is actually pretty decent. I was expecting a hell of a lot worse out of this one. I'm pleasantly surprised at this mall oval. We got a fish up here waiting for the bus, but what he didn't realize was that he was gonna get hit by a race car. Fuck! Fuck! I didn't know it was that solid. Well, that killed the car. The fucking bus stop killed the car. I'd like to explore before, um... Hey, it's a Mick... A Mick what? How you do? Hi, ladies. It's a McDougal's? What the fuck is a McDougal's? They're... Oh, they're in the drive-thru. Can I get a Happy Meal? Wait a minute. Where are the Happy Meals? What else is around here? Burger Fatties. Who has the better burger? I like more grease. And you got a little bit of a strip mall over here. Sorry to everybody's car that I am... Destroying. I'm, I definitely am by driving through them. I want to check out cheap shit. I hear that they have a special on pre-chewed broccoli. Where the fuck is everyone? It's so cheap. There's nothing here. What else do we have? Shop? Retail? I, I don't know what that says. Style? Retail? And oh, oh, this is the new Indian restaurant I've been hearing all about. Apparently it's so packed full of people I can't get in. I'm gonna have to wait in line. This is a pretty cool little area we have over here. They're still racing, I'm just exploring. Do you need a ride? I am your Uber. All right, I gotta stop at the stop sign. I gotta wait for an opening. Shit, I forgot to put on my blinker. I hope they know that I'm turning right. If there's an arrow that says you're only allowed to turn right. All right, here we go. Let's get back in the roundabout. Oscar the fucking Grouch? All right, I don't know if I want that Pepsi anymore. He's probably done something to it. Wow. Look at how you make your pit stop amongst all the other parked cars. Imagine parking to go into the mall and you saw a full-fledged NASCAR cup crew changing tires and refueling right next to you. Limit 30. Keep it under. Thank Had to gun it out of there because we didn't have a lot of time. The speed limit's apparently 15 miles an hour. Guys, I'm gonna have to write you some tickets. Hey, oh my god. That's the flag stand. That's why I couldn't drive through it. It's protecting the flag, man. I had absolutely no idea. Well, now I understand why it's so solid and why it beat the crap out of me. Hey, what do you want? Um, could I get the Big Mac meal, but without the French fries, without the drink, on the burger, no cheese, no lettuce, no tomatoes, no pickles, no mayonnaise, no salt and pepper, no bun. Can I have just the Big Mac patty. Are you fucking insane? Ooh, wow, this is pretty, this looks pretty cool. This track was making the rounds on Twitter and I was like, all right, I gotta try this out. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one. I was looking forward to giving this a whirl. It's a hell of a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Damn, look at this friggin' banking. Oh my, we're gonna have some big ones here. We are underway our final race. 25 laps, it's a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be but that's all right we haven't really had a whole lot of racing today once again i have set it to adaptive speed so by the time oh man it just carried me through it is slippery out here by the time we reach the front they should start to speed up big time slick on the hard wood this is a throwback to early days racing where they used to actually I didn't do it! They used to actually build racetracks like this out of wood. Imagine driving one of these in real life. I love how the damn place is sponsored by Yellowwood. That is a perfectly fitting, perfect sponsor. Damn, there are a lot of wrecked cars. I took out a lot of people with that accident. I feel a little bit bad. You giggling bitch, you cut me off? I know where you sleep at night. I'm gonna clip your toenails. I just went to a really dark place. Again, I will prove to you that my dark blue car is superior to yours. Might possibly have made the difficulty a little not as difficult as I should have. But if we can still have a good race here with the 24 car, yes, then that's fine. That's all we need. Mile length track, incredible banking, great competition, 
You can have the full field out here at the mall parking lot. You are only allowed to have 14 of you out on the out on the track at one time because it was so tiny. Here you can fit everybody. Adaptive speed is allowing him to keep up. Even when I get by, he comes storming on back. Wow, we are getting tight. Do I finally got him? I might finally got him. I might be able to start driving away with this thing. Oh, he coming back. Well, that would have been a hell of a finish. Overdrove it. Overdrove it. That's going to allow him to come back. Maybe. Uh, yeah, definitely now. Come on, don't hit me. Don't nobody hit me. We still have time to make a comeback here. As long as we didn't take too much damage, we can still win this. Start our climb back to the top. I don't know what position I'm in. Not a very good one. Can tell you that. And our tires, we can, they got a lot of life sucked out of them. We're in 12th. We can make this up. We're gonna have to come back from that too. There's just so little grip around the place. Like trying to avoid people, it's kind of friggin' difficult. Now we're down to P18, but we already made up a couple of those spots. Gotta give a lot more room to all these people when I'm trying to make the passes. Was it this 34 in like second place? Somewhere around that. We're charging back to the front. I think that's the 24 just up the road. We are back to P2. We have nine laps remaining. Gotta make up four seconds. Made up a half of a second. Uh, eight laps to go. If we keep doing that, we'll be there right at the end of this thing. But I'm a little bit concerned about the tires and the damage that we've taken if it's gonna slow me down and hinder my progress getting up to them. See, that time we didn't gain at all. Oh no, this lap, this lap is a meaty one. Oh, we are making up so much time. I'm figuring it out. I'm getting a little bit better of a handle of this place. It's down to 1.69. Nice! He's stuck. He's trapped. Couple of people that can't decide which one wants to come first. He is not going to be able to find a way through. Make it three wide, otherwise I'm taking that lead. We've run him back down. We've wrecked twice, but we're here. We're in contention for this thing. He's finally making a move on him. I won't shy away from making it three wide. You know I won't. Four to go. And now he's starting to get clear of them, and now he's starting to drive away. My damage might be holding me back. I don't know. Might need this lap traffic to pull this thing off. I'm looking. We're looking. Oh, he's slowing down a little bit. I'm getting sideways. We're side by side. New leader. Why do I get the feeling these lappers are going to decide this damn thing for us? Like we're not going to be... You son of a bitch, just as I'm saying it. Get the fuck out of the way! Got that good, good run. Oh my god. I get like such a good run through the middle of the corner on exit. It feels so good when I can lay the power down, but I suck on entry. Oh, I didn't get the run out of the corner that time. It might be more out of four that I feel it. Through here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get a great... I just, I'm able to rip it. You're in the middle. Oh, it is tight. Oh, it is so tight. Just hang with them through here. And then get that good, good run through four. We can do it. We can do it. Just get the run out. Get the run out. Hopefully the lap traffic slows him down a little bit. What does that even mean? You need a clean pair of shorts? What would lead me to have shit myself you blew in that entire exchange? I thought we were going to be able to pull it off. I thought we were going to be able to get him there in that final corner that I was going to have enough of a run. That lap car didn't slow him down enough. And he didn't slow down as much as he had been. Well, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. It, um, it's been... An interesting day. It's been kind of a challenging day, to be 100% honest with you. And like I said at the beginning, don't uh, don't be afraid to go and find somebody to talk to about the stuff that you got going on and what you're feeling. And I hope that didn't put like a damper on the video. It just felt like something that was important to me and something that I wanted to share. Just to let all of you know that are dealing with something similar that you're not dealing with it on your own. I'm, I'm going to wrap up the video there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love 
Every single last one of you, and I will see you in the next video. Go!